Oh, the pitch deck, the pitch deck, the pitch deck, the pitch deck. I had a startup a very long time ago and the pitch deck was everything we slept and dreamt of at all the times. It's what you always think of when you're raising investments for a startup. Your pitch deck, is it perfect, is it not? Does it have a problem? What's going on with it? Design, is it well projected? Are the numbers good? Blah, blah, blah. But there is a question that I would bet that you ask to Google about. How big should my pitch deck be? Did you ask Google? Yeah. Let's look at some of Silicon Valley's favorite companies and startups. Facebook had 26 slides, Uber had 25, Tesla 14 and Coinbase 11 slides. Is it me or are they just decreasing in time? Anyway, so here I was in an entrepreneurship convention. Actually, sorry, before I tell you the story of what happened in the entrepreneurship convention, I need to ask you to subscribe and like this video. It's sort of a thing that I have to do now at each video for the rest of my life. I have to keep asking you to subscribe and to like this video. So please do it. So here I was at an entrepreneurship convention and there was an Arab millionaire who was managing a VC and who was talking about how they invest in, in startups. So I was very interested and went to talk to him immediately after. Of course, it's in my blood. If you're raising funds, you have to pitch. So I started pitching and asking, hey, uh, this is what my company does, etc. blah, 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 blah. We shared a lot of information because he also invested in a company that does the same thing or like something close to our industry. And we connected and then I was like, okay, and maybe you guys are raising, are, are like providing funding opportunities because we are raising funds at the moment. So he said something that after 10 years, I still remember at this moment. He said, okay, send me your pitch deck and I need a pitch deck to have three slides only. So let's cut to the chase. I asked him what these slides are and I mean, you could have anticipated what these slides are, but please. Slide number one is the product slide. Now, this slide is sort of a no-brainer. You need to be telling the people who, or the investors, what is your product. But to put it in one slide, that's almost impossible. Imagine if you put Salesforce as a concept or as a product in one slide. Here's the thing. Those VCs and angel investors and big top-notch investors receive hundreds of pitch decks per day. And most of those pitch decks are for a new shop or for a new marketplace and they're easily explained. They just complicate the situation. So not everyone has a sales force. You have to keep that in mind. And if you keep that in mind, then I am sure you're going to be able to simplify your product. They just want to know what market or what, what, how does it look like if it already has an MVP? How does it look like? Just a small brief of your product in one single slide to introduce them. Okay, they're working in the automotive industry. They're working on, working on an electric car. They're working on the batteries of the electric car. It's easy to understand. Most products are, so try to summarize it in one slide. Second slide he said I should send is the traction. He said specifically that they're generally looking for a hockey stick growth graph. Look at this one for Uber's hyper growth or Uber's growth. When you look at it, it makes you as an investor want to invest. You're like, okay, in this short amount of time, they grew this fast or this much. So this is, this is sexy. This is what you want to invest in. And this is what they're looking at. So you need to have your second slide, which is just a chart of how fast you grew especially if you grew in terms of users over six months to like something similar to a hockey stick and this is when you want to show it straightforward they just want to know if you're some if you're disrupting a certain industry and that they're going to miss out on an investment finally the third and final slide of their of his recommended pitch deck was your projections now you could be writing projections in tables and just showing everything to all the exact details of how you're intending with your financial model, how you're intending to make money and so on. That's not what they really need. They just really need to know, okay, this person is going to be making $100 million in five years. So our return on investment could be X. Not that they're going to accept this number. They just want to know what you're thinking. Their financial analysts are going to study this 
and that they're gonna come up with a totally different number than the one you have. That they would just know, okay, this is how big it could be, at least, you know? Because if you say, okay, uh, we're intending to have $5 million in five years, that means that the return, if they're investing $5 million, could be almost nothing in five years, or it couldn't be, like, it could be something like not what they wanted. And in that case, they could just back out from the investment after looking at your deck. They don't need to know more because you obviously don't think they're going to make a lot of money. So you won't. You'll be happy with five million. And they're looking to get a return of 500 million or 50 million, whatever it is. Now, a lot of people ask me when I said that a few times online, do you need a longer version? Now, a lot of people put slides in the appendix. That's a smart way of doing it in case the investor is still interested in looking to uh, obtain more information. There is a specific structure that I would recommend. It's from 500 startups and uh, it's quite it's quite good because it's simple and to the point and it's not short. I think it's an eight or nine slider and it just talks about your product, how it works, the problem and the solution at the beginning. This is the typical presentation or the typical pitch deck of how you want your, your uh, pitch deck to be. If you're not interested in the three slide model, I do advise you to do it. But if you don't have traction that is growing that fast, if you don't have strong projections or if your product cannot really be explained by one slide even though you tried, then this is where you need a bigger slide. For that I recommend this other, uh, this other structure. It also would pitch tractions, uh, market and, uh, and the financial projections. I'll put a link with the exact details of each and every slides that they're offering or how the structure is. But remember, this is sort of a thing that you could go with if you can to do the three sliders. The world is moving towards faster and faster reading because investors will have less time to look at a pitch deck each year. And that's why one pagers are very growing. Uh, last year they were growing in demand specifically to me. I noticed that a lot of clients are asking for one pagers rather than pitch decks. And for that, always remember that it's gonna take a short amount of time for them to look at. So if you create three slides for your pitch deck, that's perfect. If you create one pager, that's also perfect. Don't make it too long. But what you can make long is how long it takes you to like this video and subscribe to it. That doesn't even make any sense. You know, when you really come to think about it, it doesn't make any sense what I just said right now. How does it take long to subscribe and like the video? You tell me, how come you didn't like and subscribe till this moment? That was passive aggressive. No, it wasn't. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please follow the structure if you're interested. Ask me any questions in the comments. And most importantly, enjoy a wonderful day.